This is Daily Dose of Daryl from the Peebles Motivation Bureau, Viewer's Digest, Season 2, Episode 44, July 31st to August 6th, 2023, entitled Advantage. With all the challenges that you're facing these days, do you sometimes feel like a lonely frog all by himself out amongst the rocks? Do you ever feel like you need some kind of advantage uh, to be able to make it, to move forward, to get ahead, to live life to the fullest? Are you looking for some practical tips, some practical assistance so that you can gain a slight advantage? This week's doses provide some things that can help you in a practical sense. Take notes and share. Enjoy this meditation and study. Monday Vision Vision is a thing of the heart. It's the desire that provides the energy and the will to keep going. I had a vision of having my tires rotated, but my vision tied into a larger vision. Someone had a larger vision of setting up an establishment, and that establishment would have the proper amount of space, it would have the proper equipment and tools, it would have the proper trained personnel. They had to share their vision with the people that became a part of that establishment. Each of these people then committed themselves to work on my tires and my car. They had a vision of tires rotated and properly balanced, gave them the energy and the will to keep going. Yet, an even larger vision was not just rotated tires, but helping prevent accidents and perhaps bodily harm, destruction of property, The vision was maintaining a safe vehicle, so the larger vision was that of a safe ride, a successful journey for whoever owned the car, which happened to be me. That's true in life. It's that vision, that larger vision that each of us has. Then on every level, we begin to share that vision with other people that are on the journey with us. So, We have to ask ourselves, what is that true vision that we have for our lives so that we can have a successful journey? And how do we share that vision with others? Tuesday, positive. A positive mind finds a way it can be done. A negative mind looks for all the ways it can't be done. Have you ever had one of those days when everything seemed stacked against you? Well, I finally made a decision to upgrade my phone from a 10 to a 23 Ultra. Now, that's a big jump for me. However, the order got canceled. So, I phoned up again, tried it again, and then I found out for some reason it was canceled again. So I asked the lady, and she said it's okay to go to the store. All I had to do was show my ID. Well, I got no ID how that works, because when I went to the store to stop by to show them my identification, I discovered that there were 20 people waiting in line, and all the worker desks were empty. Except for one, I even saw the phone I wanted as a sample, made my picture on it, was happy with the 200 megapixel camera, and then I noticed there was a board that had my name on it. It showed that I had moved up to number 11. Well, after a while, finally, I had moved up to number two. When I had first arrived, I called the tire store to get my tires rotated, and they said, sure, come on down. We don't have many people. However, by the end of my phone experience, after two hours and still not getting a phone, I went on down there. Now, it was a two-hour wait for the tires. <laughs> I left immediately to attend a funeral that I was already late for. Fortunately, it wasn't mine. <laughs> but you guessed it, trains blocked intersections. Well, when I finally got within about 100 or 150 feet of the funeral home, my Google guide, uh, my GPS lady, said, You can't go there from here. They put a new road in, so you have to go all the way back around and come in from the other direction. Imagine the owners who invested a large amount of money on that location. Probably picked it out because it was convenient, easy to access, near the interstate. Now you can't get there from here. I'm sure they're dealing with the 
negative, trying to get them too. So how did we all make it that day? We have all learned that we looked on the positive. Along the delays, we looked for the humor in it. And almost everywhere we turned, there was something to laugh about. And we realized that sometimes detours, setbacks, and challenges are really blessings in disguise. Wednesday, Uncover Beauty. During the spring and summer, a lot of people are passing out packets of seeds, particularly for beautiful flowers. A lot of them are distributed through charities. They often have special messages on them. When you start planting those seeds, you'll notice something. The flowers are beautiful and large, but the seeds are very tiny. Some of them you can hardly see. Inside those seeds, there's beauty there to be uncovered. When you plant them and they get the right amount of heat, sunlight, moisture, nutrients, germination takes place and they begin to sprout. They start pushing through that dirt coming up to the sunlight. That process is a way for them to begin to have that beauty come out and be shared with the rest of the world. Now, We are basically like those seeds. We have been planted here, and inside of each of us is something beautiful. We cannot only have our beauty uncovered in ourselves, but we can begin to help uncover the beauty in other people as well. As you look at the bees and the butterflies, you will see that they all work to help that process. When you begin to see the final product, these beautiful flowers, you'll be amazed at how large they are, how colorful they are, how beautiful they are, and how how magnificently they are shaped and created. We're just like that. What are we doing now to have the beauty come out of us? And what are we doing to help uncover the beauty in others? Thursday, Improve. If you have a better way of doing anything, your idea may be worth a fortune. Recently, I was informed that the senior citizens, yes, I'm in that bunch now, we were told there would be free produce handed out once a month. Well, you know I had to be there. People came from all around, lined up, and received wonderful produce. Each person got one of everything and sometimes two. I wound up with some great items, but there was one thing, though, that we weren't going to use because no one really liked green peppers. I decided that I would try to improve that situation. I added a carrot and cucumber and chopped it all up really well, threw in some cashews, some secret herbs and spices and motions and lotions and potions. Then I put it into some heat with some serious kinds of olive oil, added a base of pasta, added some corn, and it wound up to be a pretty good dish. It got me to thinking that we need to take whatever it is we're given and learn to improve it. Whatever your situation is in life, it's not perfect on any level, but it can be improved, and we are the key ingredient most of the time in our situation for creating improvement. Too often, we look to the outside to change things, but when we change on the inside, we can be a catalyst, an influencer, and one that can help improve the situation. So, whatever you have right now, try to make it a little better. Improve it each day, a little bit at a time. Friday, Knowledge. Knowledge is a tool, and like all tools, Its impact is in the hands of the user. Recently, the City of Graham and the Graham Fire Department received a new tool, and I have named it the Beast. Look at these visuals on this dose, and you will agree that it is a beast. I think other people are calling it that, too. It's huge. It's sturdy. It's stable. It's effective. It's needed. Remember that the individual operating that tool is also a tool. And you see that tool now is an extension of the individual. It can achieve things that the individual cannot do without it. Imagine someone in a burning building 80 feet in the air, desperate, and all of a sudden this thing quickly emerges at the window and they can hop in for safety. Imagine something that's on fire and the water needs to come from above. This can go up and shoot the water down on the burning building. So many things can be done by this beast that could not be done without it. 
You, as an individual, have a very special tool that you have been given. It is called knowledge. That particular tool of knowledge can be expanded. It can be added to regularly. It's the kind of thing that cannot be taken away from you. It is something that can get better and better. I encourage you to continue to add to your knowledge. Use it wisely and effectively in life, and use it to help make this a better world for all. What knowledge do you have that others perhaps don't have? How can you share that knowledge in a way that others can be strengthened, encouraged, and helped along the way? Be a beast when it comes to knowledge. Saturday Summary Monday Vision Vision provides the energy and the will to keep us going. Tuesday, positive. A positive mind finds a way it can be done. Wednesday, uncover beauty. The seeds of beauty are all around us. We can help them blossom. Thursday, improve. Our ability to take what we are given and to improve it a little bit each day may be worth a fortune to everyone. Friday, knowledge. One of the most powerful tools we have is knowledge. Learning to use it is the key to successful living. Sunday, stimulation. What is your vision for a successful life, and what have you done to focus on that vision this week? Stop and think. With all the detours, challenges, and negative things that have come to you this week, what have you done to remain positive? Stop and think. What seeds have you planted in your life this week that can continue to blossom into beauty for you and others? Stop and think. How have you taken what life gave you this week and have found ways to improve it for the benefit of yourself and others? Stop and think. What new knowledge have you gained this week and how have you applied it as a tool for a better life for you and for others? Stop and think. This is Daryl R. Peebles, the man behind the microphone, bringing you something positive each day from the Peebles Motivation Bureau, both positive, personal, and professional. Remember, there are three divisions, digital, real life, and print. But in the digital, we have not only the YouTube channel, but the website, Zoom events, and much more. In the real life, we do pulpit supply, funerals, weddings, magic shows, keynote speakers, and more. And in the print division, not only books, but magazine articles, newspapers, and custom artwork. Locally ordered books from me can get signatures and special discount. This one is already out and about, helping others. Churches and pastors have special discounts. I appreciate you, your ideas and support. Keep them coming. These are other areas that I might be able to help you. And these are my contact points. This is Daily Dose of Daryl responding to the free and gracious gift of God. I am using humor, the art of illusion, modern technology, and decades of serving God and communities to work every day to uncover the beauty in all people and experiences coming my way, endeavoring to educate, entertain, and inspire. Each dose on this channel can help move us toward a better, healthier, and more informed mind, body, and spirit. I'm excited to be a small part of the expanding of our capacity to learn, love, and forgive, and together leave this world a better place for all. God bless you.